I imagine this is the point in the story of pirates that all the cannons start firing, and perhaps there's more ashes to send to the sea. <laughs> Playing along with the words here, but, you know, <laughs> it's inevitable for a concept as fun and adventurous as Pirates, and invigorating when you consider the score and vocal complement, and the vision, pun intended again on word choice, it's just inevitable, with visions of Atlantis and their strength in the symphonic metal sphere. I have loved this group since I was first introduced, and I've been crediting over, a little over a year ago, and again, as I always note, thank you to every one of you in the comments section that made them a frequent recommendation. It's been a privilege to take this ride with you. As I promised you, in the spirit of Pirates, the predecessor record, which you'll remember I freaking loved and still do, and highly recommend as well to any new approachers to Visions of Atlantis' work here. If you're walking into Pirates 2 Armada on a, uh, a lack of knowledge on what you can expect, and I'll put you on even footing if so, though I would recommend for your sake, because we are taking a holistic journey, whether you choose to humor these numbers by yourself or alongside me and ever fellow sailors, um, of which once you start, you will be in our ranks as a developing sailor, as I kind of am as I'm working my way through not just the present catalog of Visions of Atlantis of the Deep in the Dark on, but even in, you know, the long term going back perhaps a little further with future adventures to store. I've already got stuff lined up. Anyway, whatever angle you approach, I want you to feel at home here as we enjoy music collaboratively and such notable work. <laughs> with Visions of Atlantis of again a symphonic and melodic power metal fusion and a real strength in that with such a fun concept and delivery on that with a personal resonance still that is so beautifully interwoven. As a uh, background influence to what these pirate stories carry, just the concept, again, of first appearances in a superficial respect is great, but when you really dig into these numbers and let them sink into your heart, there is such a, a, a pull and an attraction of Visions of Atlantis pieces that you cannot escape. I hope you see that if you are, in fact, approaching on first-time lens. And as I was saying, it would be to your benefit to not only humor the first chapter, of course, when you have time, Pirates is a great album, but for its successor. We're now eight tracks into the 12-track body, and I would recommend the first seven to you, because they are beautiful pieces. And I'm expecting, as I said, with the last piece, which made sense as a pause number in its placement following, uh, Five, uh, with tracks two, three, four, five, and six considered much heavier, high, uh, higher energy pieces, it made sense to give this album a space of breath. But then we look at the dramatic titling of Hellfire. <laughs> it's like a totally different emotion that seems to come back to a more ominous, foreboding, troubled sense that to me seems to predict a faster tone or a return to the aggressive roots for Visions of Atlantis on style. And they play around quite a bit. As we oftentimes see with symphonic metal talents, there is an open versatility permitted. And interaction of different metal styles. And Visions of Atlantis beautifully commands their talents in that respect. Whether it be instrumentally or vocally, making Clementine shine on this album so far from what I've heard on their personality, these songs, the vocal traits, they're so clear. I love the pitch, the way it's molded to the key. Fantastic symphonic metal work here, but if this is a first introduction for you alongside me, I'm sure it'll be a fun adventure. It is for me, which is why I specify I'm just having a great time. I always have a Visions of Atlantis since the beginning, and I hope you do too if this is a fresh adventure for you. With the promise, of course, as I said, of many more adventures to come, but Pirates 2 Armada is an experience. Let's continue past the halfway point, in fact. In near satisfaction, I promised to you that we would take a full album tour, going into Hellfire now. <laughs> Exciting on temptation. Let's be allured in together. Okay, we're building to something. I was like, this is a much softer opener than I expect. But we're changing. A bit of a gothic face on this one, too, based on the organ. I like that interwoven light choir presence, higher pitch. Teased playful pace, too interesting. A bit more of a levity than I foresaw so far. It could alternate any time. <laughs> I love it. Adventurous, let's see where this goes. I love the personality here on voice. I 
This is different. And there's that familiar vibrato again that comes through and makes a beautiful Italian accent. There's the nice little operatic cues. We haven't witnessed those yet on uh, Armada 2 to a memory. Or, no, Pirate 2 Armada. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Damn, this is an amazing score. <laughs> Every second I'm taking in right now. Song with a wide field, and it's... <laughs> like the date of his sea, this is becoming a top ranker. The syncopation effect on that repetition of burn too adds a lot of drama to the chorus uh, illustration. I love it. I want to see if that comes back. Yes. The deeper choir hits too on No Choice, I love that. God. And a fun hybrid between fantasy and modern... I don't say modern metal in the sense of a genre. Modernized metal voice. Very contemporary. The riff patterns are beautiful too. <laughs> I didn't notice that line before if that was voice. It's a good piece of the lyrics. Thank you, Clementine. <laughs> That's my favorite on the record so far. Absolutely. I love the peppiness of that score and the fact that we begin with such a deliberate gothic metal cue is gorgeous with that organ. And maybe it helps that I've started my you know, other adventures into different European metal forays and certain instrumental agents right now I've taken a liking to with those introductions considered. I'm thinking of Power Wolf specifically with um, Wake Up the Wicked and the first two singles that have debuted at 1589 and Sinners of the Seven Seas. Speaking of pirates... <laughs> I've been waiting to dig into Power Wolf 2 just based on that organ presence. I love hearing it intermixed into the voice of Visions of Atlantis and the adaptation of the score, what it turns into. You know, I don't mind the fact that because I expected something much more troublesome, I guess, on Nature of Hellfire, because I think of, you know, hell as an image, or just even, even as maybe a, a poetic term is imagined, though, you know, in a literal sense. Well, you know, kind of a mix, I guess, between uh, literary presence of in, you know, hell uses a symbol or an image, and again, a, a much darker nature, par nature paired with the literal destination. I consider where that would lead on a score tone, and I think much more challenged, resistive to any sense of hope or um, uh, uh, levity. And yet, this score. <laughs> 
the vocals kind of take it in that way from the level of aggression and the pattern of the way the riffs are organized, but when you consider the nature of the lyrics and the key choice, it carries this other effect that sort of is like a walking contradiction, but it's just beautiful. <laughs> well, actually, you're kind of like, you know, Hellfire, I guess, is embodied in this as sort of a, a revolutionary voice or a voice of resistance. Fire, burn, burn, burn. I love the effect of repetition, by the way, in the chorus. The syncopation is great for a, a, a pacing add-on. And there's a lot of clear emotion to me in those words and every line of the lyrics making hell out of Earth. Now that I really notice it, in the halo, watch their dying world. I love the way this is written. I reclaim the power of the flame. Familiar hell is home instead of paradise unknown. This is how I used to live feeding all alone. Wow. Again, relatability masked behind a pirate's facade. I freaking love this record and its predecessor, but this one, oh, again, it's such a fitting sequel. Hellfire is going to be quite a favorite drag of mine. Absolutely. It's rhythm, it's pace, note choices, playful uh, energy, and the adventurism on the vocals. The fact that we get some operatic cues at the higher range from Clementine, which she's capable of, though much in the record she's resided in a melodic territory, which she is so triumphant in, but just that end swing, I love it. It's great. <laughs> that is a fun metal medley, and a standout on the record for sure. Just a little short of five minutes, it makes its presence known well. <laughs> Varied agents a combination of a whole lot of elements and an origin that tempts something different. A number of a lot of switches, at least towards the beginning from what your anticipation is. And yet it proves its worth explicitly in a way you cannot deny, I think. It's a strong entry. And it leaves me in a very good mood, parting ways, at least for the moment, to continue on in the pirate's adventure for four more numbers. But this one? I can't wait to humor it again. It is going to be a fun listen, especially with that rhythm. God, I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm sure many of you would agree down below, whether you happen to be fellow sailors or developing. Or I say fellow in the sense of long time fans. It even advanced me. Whatever your advantage is, you wish to share that too. I'd love to hear. But what do you think of Hellfire? And again, I'm not one to rank things, right? I don't want to overshadow other pieces that should get complimentary regard. And certainly on Pirates, we've seen nothing that would deviate from that so far in my opinion. But... You know, there are these highlight pieces that for me are quickly becoming top favorites, at least on replay consideration, and Hellfire is going to absolutely be one. I am sure I'm going to be returning to this number nonstop, just based on its rhythm, vocal choices. Let In the Halo, watch their dying world, and the way that Clementine's voice rests on that, and the interaction between her and Meek, it's just so powerful, but that gothic introductory tone, it's fun swing into the rhythm, God. It's a number of immediate pull. <laughs> Much more so than I thought it would be just even superficially. I knew it would be powerful, considering this is Visions of Atlantis, and they make their mark well within the symphonic metal sphere, but... Hellfire, independently, is a beautiful experience. And I cannot wait to take it again for myself. Post, of course. Completing our run-through of Pirates 2 together. A Pirates 2 Armada. Next adventure being Collide. I can't really gauge where that one's going to go on tone, but on adventurism and strength, I have no doubt it will impress. To whatever, however it reads, like Hellfire, a number of clear choice and direction and beauty. It is an attractive work and a standout for me on the record so far, among many, but I love that one. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.